You know, for the last two years, this has been such an awesome setup. My customers have absolutely loved it, but there's been one problem. See these doors behind me? It's been a bunch of unused and empty space. Well, I'm gonna change that today. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about what can you do on these empty doors. There's a lot of guys out there that will put their bottle holders on the door panels. I'm not a huge fan of that because I don't necessarily want my chemicals baking in that hot sun. Um, the Arizona sun out here just tears everything apart. And so that's why I've actually put my bottle holders on the inside of my trailer just to get them up and out of the sun, a little bit protected. Um, sure, you know, the sun's gonna come in and hit them every once in a while, but for the most part, they're covered up. And so on my doors, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount these really cool uh, carpet mat holders that I found online. You typically see them at car washes. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna necessarily wash car mats on these door panels, but I am gonna hang them up to dry. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna take you through the install process. So the first thing that we need to do is grab some measurements. Now for today's install, if you wanted this to be like perfect, what you would do is you would undo all of these little bolts and screws that you see here. You would cut the FRP to a little bit wider than where the edge of this paneling already is. So you can undo the screws and tuck the paneling up and underneath it and then screw it back into place. I only have a limited amount of time today. I don't have time to do that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just measure the space of the opening everywhere where you see wood and then i'm going to just glue it into place and then i'm going to bolt my car wash mat holders into place then i'm going to fill in any of the gaps that might be present caulking is going to be our best friend today so let's talk about what you're going to need for this project i've got this leftover frp paneling which you guys know that i love that of course I'm gonna use, it's been sitting in my garage for the last two years. Here are the new car wash mat holders that I, were, that I was telling you guys about that we're gonna be installing. We're gonna put two up on the top and we're gonna put two kind of in the middle on each door panel. I've got eight of them. They come in these bags, which by the way, you guys, there is a difference in car wash mat holders that are out there on the internet. These ones are made of stainless steel and that's the metal that you want to use. There are other ones made out of aluminum. They claim they are lighter weight. I don't have a problem with aluminum. However, stainless steel is king. So if you're going to be buying these, I would encourage you ditch the aluminum and go for stainless steel. These measurements don't have to be perfect because like I said, any of the gaps or edges around I'm going to be filling in with white caulking. Um, it's gonna end up looking amazing and that white caulking matches the FRP perfectly. Today I'm just gonna use this small uh, little wood trim piece. I'm gonna put it on the line and we're gonna use these clamps and we're gonna use this as our guide today to cut a nice straight line. All right, so now that we've got our panel cut to size, I now want to figure out where to cut a one inch hole uh, so that way the panel doesn't cover up these little uh, grommets. I want these to be exposed just in case I ever have to do any repair work to that lever on the outside. I don't want to cover this up. So you can tell that these do not exactly line up. Um, you know, this one is slightly over more than this one. So to get the, uh, the measurement of where you're gonna wanna drill your one, inch, your one inch holes is you basically just take your tape from the top, measure down to the center of that thing. And that is telling me this is uh, about 19 and three quarters uh, ish, give or take. And then from the edge of this to the center is an inch and three quarters. That's gonna give me my crosshair to know where to cut 
these grommets. Let's go cut our holes. As you can tell, this blade is a little dull, but again, that's okay. Caulking is going to fix that. Caulking's our best friend. Oh, that sucks. How in the doggone was I so far off? That one is spot on, but what did I do? What did I do to that one? Gosh dang it. Well, that one is my fault. What's the saying? Measure three times, cut once. I failed to do that, but that's okay. We're gonna do a little bit of cosmetic surgery. I'm gonna blend this in. And then when I caulk this up, you're barely gonna be able to notice it. So, silly mistake, shouldn't have done it, but hey, we all do them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use Heavy Duty Construction Ultimate Adhesive to weld that panel onto my uh, wooden door. I've had a lot of success with this stuff, so we're gonna, we're gonna use this, which by the way, it is expensive, man. If you go to Home Depot, I wanna say this is like 10 bucks a bottle or somewhere around there. Don't quote me on that, but it's, uh, just keep in mind, it's, it's pricey stuff, but hey, you get what you pay for, and in this case, I want an adhesive that's gonna work really, really well, and this has proven to me time and time again to work well. Alright, both panels are mounted, so now comes the caulking phase where we're going to go ahead and fill in all of the small gaps up there across the top, down the side. We're going to waterproof this thing so as we hang those wet car mats, they don't get behind the seals and start rotting out the wood that's behind this, this wall. We're going to do the same thing to this side. All right, guys, both doors are officially done. Oop. They turned out really good. With a little bit of cosmetic surgery, you can barely tell that I made a little goof, but if you get up real close, now you can see it. Up from far away, it looks fine. All right, these doors are completely waterproofed, so now comes the next step, which is installing the floor mat holders. Let's get to it. All right, so to hang these mat holders, we need to drill some pilot holes because of course I got stainless steel screws and washers because I love the look and longevity of stainless steel and they're not self-tapping. So we're gonna go ahead and drill. I've already pre-measured out exactly where I want my, my holes. So we're good there, one. And just to double check, I wanna make sure we're seven and a half inches. Yep, we're good, seven and a half. Okay, we're just gonna do the tops right now. I'm gonna let them hang, and then I'll fasten in the, the bottoms of these. So I went to Ace Hardware and what I ended up getting you guys were these three quarter inch stainless steel fasteners. I didn't want to go one inch. It looked like one inch was a little bit too long. I don't want to poke through the side of my trailer door 
so three quarters should be fine. And because the hole on those uh, floor mats, the holes are huge, I needed to get a washer because that, that fastener head is too small. So what we'll do is we'll put this through like this and fasten it on there. Exactly. Yep, perfecting it. You know, the only thing I hate about a project like this is when it's over. I enjoy the build so much that when it's all over, I'm like, gosh, dang it, like, it's done, it's over. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you found any value in this at all, or liked the setup, or like what, I, uh, what I've done here, uh, give me a like, would appreciate it. Guys, I hope you're having an amazing day, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.